Color Finale 2 is constantly updated. We are always working to make this professional color grading plugin for Final Cut Pro better. To do this, we regularly add the tools and features you can expect out of a modern color grading suite. If you're an owner, don't forget to check that you're on the latest version of Color Finale 2. If you're interested in trying it out for yourself, download the free 7-day trial, link in the description. The 2.5 update adds new tools such as log wheels and camera matrix, as well as several other additions. Today, we'll go through these to show how they could come in handy in your workflow. Let's start with a new log wheels tool. Visually, this tool resembles color wheels. There are three color wheels, shadows, midtones, and highlights. Under each of these is a brightness slider. The fourth wheel, offset, affects the entire range of highlights. As with the color wheels tool, when you drag the point towards a certain color, the shadows, midtones, highlights, or the entire brightness range moves towards that color. But, as the name implies, Log Wheels is designed to work with log footage. So in order to get the best result, we need to use footage that's been shot in log and that has had a log conversion LUT or the equivalent layers applied to it. For best results, the Log Wheels layer is placed at the bottom of the layer stack before applying any layer that converts the log footage to a video space such as Rec. 709. This whole setup is called Display Referred Workflow. When the end result of working with the tool is determined by a final display color transform. In our example, we are using the Alexa Log C to Rec. 709 LUT. When using Log Wheels, it is important to leave the color profile of the footage unchanged in the color management section of the inspector panel. Instead, leave all the adjustments to the layers. Now, after applying the LUT and with the help of Log Wheels, we have a lot of flexibility for adjustments. Notice the smooth effect of the tool on the image brightness over the entire extended range of the log image. At the bottom, you can set the inflection point between shadows and midtones and between midtones and highlights. This log wheels workflow is sometimes indispensable at the stage of creating a primary color correction. Camera Matrix is another new tool that allows you to independently change the hue and saturation of the red, green and blue channels. Create a unique color matrix by adjusting these main color components. This principle of operation allows it to be used in a wide range of color correction tasks. It allows you to change the primary colors without affecting the overall white balance, which is very useful for fine-tuning color without fear of ruining the overall picture. For example, it is very convenient for skin color correction. Let's use image analysis and isolate the skin tone. With the help of the vector scope, we can achieve the desired tone so that the color matches the skin tone line. To do this, just tweak the red channel. By the way, watch our video on skin tones to find out more about how Color Finale 2 can help you out with one of the most important aspects of color grading. Let's consider another example in which the blue and pink colors stand out very well against a white background. We edit the tone of the reds greens and blues. But as you can see, the white color remains as pure as it was. Many Color Finale 2 Pro users use filters to create various effects, including adding blurs to the image. In version 2.5, there is a new setting that allows you to blur the red, green and blue channels individually. Additionally, you can also get other interesting artistic effects with filtering individual color, hue, saturation and luma channels of an image. For example, channel blurs can be used to create effects similar to film halation or to imitate the VHS look. Many of us depend on RGB curves for our color work. Watch our video on this tool to learn why it's so popular. In 2.5, we've added a neat trick to add the classic S-curve control points to a curve or curves. Hold Option over the reset buttons to add the familiar points to the shadows, midtones and highlights. A 
also in version 2.5, additional settings for working with the shuffle tool have been added. Now all color changes in the channel mixer can be made to have fixed brightness and saturation levels. This helps in cases where you want to adjust the image without changing the brightness and saturation, therefore avoiding color clipping, i.e. areas becoming too bright, dark, oversaturated, or conversely, to avoid insufficiently saturated images. These are the main changes of the 2.5 update. The new tools and additions can help you create unique visuals, speed up your color grazing, and give you more options to suit your individual workflow. Try Color Finale 2 Pro for free with a 7 day trial on our website. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye.